Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what I've got on my fridge here. Just going to come across here. Uh, this is this is actually for my in-laws' farm, and that is uh, that's sesame seed oil. Uh, got some uh, organic jam, organic peanut butter. Uh, what's that? Uh, some bee pollen. Uh, some other stuff there. This is camu camu powder. Uh, this is some uh, organic coconut oil. It's the only oil we use for cooking when we do cook. Uh, let's add some organic ketchup. Uh, we don't do any milk, so instead of that we do uh, we do rice milk. We don't do soy milk, and that's uh, that's organic, of course, too. Um, and some more um, sesame seed oil. And some more sesame seed oil from my in-laws' farm uh, down below here. Uh, some apples, of course, organic. In our area, they're the same price as regular ones, but people always buy the regular ones. I don't get that. Uh, goji berries. Uh, this is some uh, kale, some chard. Uh, what do we got down here? Uh, shiitake mushroom powder. Don't ask me what that's for. I don't want to get into it. Um, some kelp. Sand berries, organic hemp protein powder. Uh, notice everything so far just has one ingredient to it. Um, organic carrots, um, this is our, uh, the juice. Uh, we don't consume a whole lot of uh, soy protein. Uh, if you read about it, you can make your own decision. But we do do it in very small amounts. And when we do, it's got to be organic. Uh, like you see right here, and we do it uh, just as a side dish. Um, we got stuff like in here. We got we got sprouts in here. Uh, those are alfalfa sprouts. So these are clover sprouts. Uh, some brown rice in here. Uh, I've got uh, my fermented food. I always have fermented food every day. That's going to be my uh, fermented. Um, here it is. Whatever. I forgot the name of it. Cabbage. Uh, these are my tonic mixes uh, right here uh, with my municipal mushrooms in them uh, that I use for my uh, green shakes. Uh, free range eggs right there. Organic salad. Uh, these are pesticide free uh, but not organic. Roman tomatoes. Uh, these are going to be black beans in there. Uh, cucumbers, uh, yeast flakes, we use those yeast flakes on our popcorn, uh, stragglers roots, extract, Celtic sea salt, only salt we do use. Um, so again, everything in here, one ingredient only. Uh, that's And then on up to the freezer. Let's take a look at what we've got in here. Oh, let's see here. What have we got? Um, these, are, uh, these are little fishies. We use those for soups. Um, this is organic bread. We get at Costco. Um, these are a lot of frozen herbs and stuff. This is a uh, this is a uh, garlic. Uh, this is garlic from uh, my in-laws' farm. Um, this is some frozen seaweed soup. Um, these are all soups over here. I'm not even quite sure what that is. That's my wife. But, uh, oh man. Yeah, these are great. These are on sale. I always love these. These are uh, wild blueberries. Um, and we love wild because uh, the soil is not depleted like it is uh, when we're farming it. And these are from Canada. Get these in Canada. These are awesome. So I got a whole bag. Uh, I've got some spices back here. Uh, again, this is from my in law's farm. Uh, this is uh, garlic. And that's from my in law's farm as well. Uh, sesame seeds and you guessed it, in law's farm. Uh, no, these are not donuts. Uh, this is uh, coffee in here. Uh, these are just all stuff that I put in my green shake. Uh, and, uh, these beans in here, which actually kind of look like uh, almonds, this is actually what chocolate looks like. Those are actually raw chocolate beans. Uh, uh, the health benefits of those are outrageous. And they taste great in shakes. So, so let's uh, take a look on over here. 
Okay, that's kind of a mess in here, but I'm um, just going to take a look at the top here. Yes, I just still do coffee, a little organic peanut butter, some organic royal jelly, some organic raw honey back there. Uh, just panning across here. Um, these are all organic uh, sprouting seeds. Uh, these are for my wheat grass. This is uh, whole wheat organic. Again, one ingredient. Uh, we use that to make our own bread. Um, some more coconut oil. Only coconut oil we use. Of course, uh, lots and lots of Bill Phillips right protein powder. Thanks, Bill. Uh, some more stuff up here. I use this to make uh, cereal out of. Uh, this is uh, organic buckwheat groats, um, uh, non-heated, non-treated, um, astragalus root, use this to make my own tonics. Um, this is actually, this is what oatmeal actually looks like when it's uh, not been treated. Uh, stuff that I use to make teas and stuff, this is horsetail, uh, palo de arc bark, cat's claw, and this actually not something that we bought. I actually took it away from my kids. They got it at a soccer game. I don't allow them to drink this stuff. In fact, if you look on the back of this, there's so many ingredients just in this little liquid fruit that they can't even fit it on the back of this. So they have to put it on the box. That's how many ingredients it is. Uh, we just we just drink water, period. Um, I'm not going to allow my kids to drink that stuff. Um, down here, uh, this is some fresh organic um, specially made uh, <coughs> soil that I use for my uh, uh, wheatgrass. Uh, these are all beans in here. What's this? Uh, the miracle of reishi mushrooms on here. These are reishi mushroom slices. This is a huge bag for a pound of it. Uh, I use it to make teas and tonics for the bases of my shakes. Uh, chai seeds. If you're not into those, you may want to check them out. Uh, these are all legumes. Stuff for uh, you know, I always have legumes every day. Uh, this is our rice down here. My foot's tapping. Uh, quinoa. Um, let's see. And let's take a look at. What we've got over here. Uh, this is just the wheatgrass. You know, here we're almost done with this. This is gonna be ready to consume probably in the next day or two. And this is just getting ready for us. On that end of it. Um, Organic onions in our area, they're back practically the same price as regular onions. Uh, this is organic garlic, again, same price in our area as uh, almost regular garlic. Uh, oats, put in my, uh, I use this thing at least twice a day. Uh, some more protein powder, different variations of protein powder. Um, I, I do not eat meat. Uh, brown rice, protein powder, uh, pea protein powder, and, uh, and that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think everything I showed in my entire kitchen, uh, just one ingredient. Uh, there's no two ingredients.